Artificial intelligence and machine learning. It's all the rage. The most popular buzzwords on the internet today. And just about every company is trying to incorporate AI into everything that they do and everything that they sell. But what does it mean for you or I? And what does it mean for your career? Having used generative AI tools personally and working at a major tech company as a mid-career professional managing an e-commerce team where in that world there are AI solutions being developed, I can say quite confidently that artificial intelligence and machine learning are not just buzzwords. While admittedly it is quite overhyped on what it can do today, it will absolutely change how we work in the future. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what AI and ML practically means for someone doing office or creative work, the steps I'm taking to learn about AI and ML, what this all means for your career development. With that said, Let's get to it. If you're currently working an office job, think about all the actions you take on a daily basis. You're communicating with others via email or some messaging application. You're analyzing data or information to make a decision. You're developing some kind of content as a result of those decisions. This can be text, image, or video. You might think of a PowerPoint presentation to influence another decision maker. Or it could be a marketing asset like a creative brief. Could be a, a tax return if, if you're an accountant. Whatever it is, there's some kind of output that you're creating. So generally speaking, this is what everyone does if we were to broadly categorize all these activities. AI tools will make all those activities easier and faster to do. Whatever might have taken you 10 hours out of your week to complete may only take you an hour in the future. Now, is it able to do that today? Generally, no. Not yet. But as an example, here's some of what AI can already do for you. You can summarize a long email thread for you if you don't have time to read the entire thing. And when it analyzes data, it can draw connections and insights that might have taken you a little bit longer to identify for yourself. And of course, it can create content in the form of text image video. I'm sure you've seen plenty examples of this at this point from ChatGPT or Microsoft Copilot. And from that, you can create things like I mentioned earlier, marketing assets, sales collateral, sales material, can even create PowerPoint presentations. So as it stands today, AI can definitely make you a little more efficient. Of course, you do have to, uh, you do have to check all the work because AI isn't always gonna get it right. Now, the extent to which AI can make you more efficient depends on a handful of factors. It depends on your ability to use AI. In other words, the specific tasks you ask it to do and how you ask it, which by the way is known as prompt engineering probably a fancier term than really it deserves to be. It also depends on the quality of the data and information that AI is using as an input. And of course, the capabilities of the AI model itself. For most of us, we're not gonna be developing AI models. We'll either use what's already out there like ChatGPT, Copilot, Claude, or companies will develop their own models in-house based on their specific business needs. In either case, you'll wanna have a basic understanding of how those those models are built. You have a better sense of how to adjust the model itself or adjust your input to produce a better result. So how am I going about learning about AI and ML? Think of AI as a tool. Much like Microsoft Excel is a tool that when it launched in the late 80s and going into the early 90s, very few people were proficient with it at the time. But today, virtually everyone working an office job has at least a basic understanding of how to use it. Now mind you, you don't need to be an expert you just need to know enough to be useful with it. This is the approach that I'm taking with AI and ML, of which programming is a part. AI is a tool and programming is a way to optimize that tool. And I also need to learn it in a way that is approachable and doesn't consume my life. I'm juggling family, fitness goals, and a highly demanding workload as a manager at a major tech company. And of course, creating content like this video that you're watching here today. I don't have a lot of free time is the whole point, so what are my options? Now, after exploring a variety of options from Berkeley, MIT, Harvard, and many other universities and alternative programs, I went with the University of Texas Postgraduate Certificate 
in artificial intelligence and machine learning. Here's why. It's fully online, which gives me a ton of flexibility. It's a highly reputable school. It's actually where I did my undergraduate business degree. The program is relatively inexpensive at just $3,800. The program is seven months long. Not too short, but also not too long. Tons of content as well as hands-on projects. And the certificate has the terms artificial intelligence and machine learning in it. Now you might think that last point is a little bit superficial and you'd be right but let me explain the biggest part of how i would be using ai and ml is for data analysis and a big underpinning of ai and ml is data science it's data science in a tuxedo it's fancy employers or hiring managers if they're not necessarily the technical type having ai and ml may actually resonate a little bit better than strictly data science at least that's the way i rationalize it and i can certainly capitalize on the interest out there in the market. Generally speaking, people are aware of artificial intelligence and machine learning and they're excited about it. Now, by the way, if you think this program might be a good fit for you, I've got a referral link down below that can actually save you a little bit of money on the program. And of course, through that link, you can learn more about the program itself and all the specifics. As of this video, I haven't started yet, but I am slated to start in June of 2024. So that's about a couple of months out. So if you want to follow me along in that journey, please feel free to follow me on YouTube. YouTube, subscribe, and also check out my X slash Twitter account or LinkedIn. Links to all that are down below and I'm gonna use those platforms as a way to give some regular updates on what I'm going through in the program. Now the main reason I'm pursuing this program is to give me a skills and knowledge advantage in an emerging technology that's relevant to my field. I would be one of very few in my immediate sphere of work that would have formal education on artificial intelligence and machine learning. And this certificate will serve as a great complement to my experience. Now I'm gonna emphasize it's a complement. It's not a replacement for experience, nor is it quite a replacement for a master's degree in say, data science or statistics. And as a result, it's not a program I would recommend if you're looking to do a full career pivot into a data science career, creating AI models and doing serious data work, especially if you have little to no experience. If you wanna do that, you're better off getting an affordable master's degree in data analytics or data science and or trying to get some real world experience in the field. University of Texas actually has a really good option for that as well well as Georgia Tech, both offer programs that are at around $10,000 for the entire master's degree, which is one of the best values in higher education today. But apart from the degree, it's also important you get real world experience, which may mean you have to start at an entry level for some of those roles if you do wanna make that career pivot. But for many other folks, this certificate is perfect to help you advance your career in your current field, where your experience will be beneficial, but you'll have a unique advantage by having this verifiable certificate that employers and hiring managers can see. And that'll be a benefit to you when they are assessing one candidate, you, versus someone else that may not have that education background. So folks, hope you found this helpful. Like I mentioned earlier, if you wanna learn more about the program, check out the link down below. But if you decide that this program isn't quite right for you, make sure to check out my next video where I talk about Coursera. It's a fantastic online learning platform with thousands of courses to choose from, some of which are in AI and ML. With that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around.